There is a big blue line that runs around this state. A line that connects us from pawns to the pros. It's a line that ties our past to our present, to our future. A line that defines not only a place, but a place in our hearts. Because in this place, hockey is more than what we play. It's who we are. This is the State of Hockey. The State of Hockey on Fox Sports North is presented by Total Hockey, exclusive equipment provider of USA Hockey, and sponsored in part by Aspire Beverages. Aspire to greatness. The first ever professional women's hockey game played in the state of Minnesota was held at Ritter Arena earlier this month. The Minnesota Whitecaps took on the Boston Pride of the Northwest Hockey League and split the two-game series. Both teams' rosters featured prominent Minnesota natives, including Gigi Marvin and Winnie Broke Brown. The Whitecaps were established in 2004 as an elite women's hockey team and is made up of post-collegiate players. The organization provides an opportunity to play at a high level with many of the players aspiring to be on national and Olympic teams. The main goal for Whitecaps head coach Rob Stauber is for his team to someday be a part of a professional hockey league. Being able to have a place to play, not just play but be competitive. The needle's moving in the right direction for, for the growth of the women's game. The national championship banners that hang here at Ritter Arena tell the great success story of the women's hockey program here at the University of Minnesota. So far on the state of hockey, we featured two of their legendary players, Natalie Darwitz and Chrissy Wendell. But the program's all-time leading scorer is still here on campus. Hannah Brandt surpassed Darwitz with a five-goal game in November, and the Hill Murray grad does not plan on stopping until another banner comes home. This story is brought to you by Aspire. Aspire to greatness. Hannah Brandt is no stranger to success in the sport of hockey, having become a standout player during her time at Hill Murray High School, where she was awarded Miss Hockey in 2012 as the best player in the state of Minnesota. She went on to play for the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers, but her ascension to stardom on the ice almost didn't happen. Hockey did not run in my family at all. My mom wanted me to be a, she had me in dancing, gymnastics, anything you could think of. The Brot family, uh, Chelsea and Winnie played here. Their niece, Hannah, we have very similar names, Hannah Brot, Hannah Brandt, and we were at the same preschool and our medications got mixed up. So our parents ended up meeting each other through that and they got me into it. To say she has taken advantage of this simple twist of fate would be an understatement, as Hannah has been a vital part of two national championships during her time at the U. But long before racking up points in the ice, Hannah found herself in the spotlight, just in a slightly different way, serving as a flag carrier for the Minnesota Wild before a crowd of 18,000 fans. How I got picked was interesting. My dad was the millionth person to enter the XL Energy Center. I got to go out on the ice that day and answer some questions. Greg's daughter Hannah is now getting a chance to win this beautiful snowmobile over here courtesy of Polaris. Neil Broughton's number seven was retired by the Dallas Stars. True or false? True. That's absolutely right. They retired it. It's in the hole! Goal! Let's have a big hand for Hannah. Congratulations. It was pretty cool. I mean, I remember getting to skate laps around the rink. I have a smile on my face the entire time. I remember it was just really awesome experience to have 18,000 people on their feet. With her success on the ice and in the classroom over the last three years, it seems only natural that Hannah was named the team's captain for her senior season. Being a captain of this program is a huge honor. All of the captains that I've had here in the three years before I was one were unbelievable. I try to just take a little bit from all of them. Be able to know that you are trusted by all your teammates and coaches uh, is pretty cool. And I think just trying to live up to that and we get to say we're playing on a team that's won six national championships. And every time you put on the jersey, you understand that you're representing all of them as well as all the people that are going to play here in the future. We, we call ourselves a family and it's because we really are and we're a bunch of sisters and just making sure that if anything's happening to one person, 
I'm gonna try and be there for them. Try to lead by example on and off the ice. To add to the growing list of accomplishments in Hannah's young life, she recently passed her childhood idol and former gopher Natalie Darwitz on the university's all-time points list, where she now sits alone at the top with 260 points and counting. I remember growing up watching Natalie Darwitz play here and just she was an unbelievable player and to, I guess, break one of her records is crazy to me and for that to even become a reality is pretty special. As for what her future holds, Hannah is always keeping her eye on her next set of goals while still firmly focusing on the task at hand. Looking forward to seeing what this team can accomplish this year. Hopefully to make a run for another national title and that would be a great way to go out and then after that train for the 2018 Olympics and see if I have a chance to make that team. That's it for this episode of the State of Hockey, brought to you by Total Hockey. We hope you all have a safe, happy, and very hockey-filled holiday season. Until next time, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us.